Welcome to the next Go2AK.com video blog. Go down to Colony Days in the Valley this weekend. But the first item on the agenda is the triathlon. And at middle age, I've realized that stretching is a must. Help me. The morning began at the Garden Gate B&B, &B, which is out between Palmer and Wasilla. And I'm glad they have the breakfast in the bed and breakfast because I'm running in the Why Not Try Triathlon out in Wasilla. And breakfast is a good idea, especially one like this. The Garden Gate features several cottages, some with jacuzzis that would be perfect for your visiting friends and relatives. As to why they call it the Garden Gate, you figure it out. The kitchenettes are ideal for both short-term and long-term stays, but I won't be staying long. I'm about to do something that I've never done before. Now, I've never done a triathlon before. In fact, this will be the first time I've ever done all three of these exercises at once. <laughs> Triathlons include both swimming, biking, and jogging. And coming into the parking lot, I realize I'm bike deficient. Everybody has street bikes. <laughs> I have a mountain bike. I'm so much more low grade. <laughs> uh, woo! Then again, I'm not exactly what you would call a competitor. I participate in these things just to, well, basically remind myself I'm still alive. As I move towards the sign-up booth, I noticed one interesting thing. People are getting numbers written on them in funny places. There are over 200 competitors in this race, so the changeover area is packed. And the excitement is starting to build. Ladies and gentlemen, who's excited for the first Why Not Try? Founder Robin Rice explains this race is personal. I thought if I were to do an event like this, I would donate it to my brother who has Lou Gehrig's disease. And it's Very all, personal. Anyways, it's a highly progressive disease, and he died yesterday. Um, and I put this, I put this on for him. Robin's yeah, courage inspires all of us to want to seize the day. And as I watch the first competitors heading into the pool area and just as quickly heading out of the pool area, I realize I better get inside. I think I'm next in line, which is fine. I'm a pretty strong swimmer. Grew up on an island. I'm good in the water. There we go. Thank you. Then again, this time I'm doing 400 meters with a video camera in my hand. But thankfully, the swimming, yeah, went pretty well. Thought I had two laps left. I'm done. And thankfully, my parents forced me to bike to school when I was a kid. Here we go to the bike section. Whew, tired. So I'm not too afraid of this leg. And we're on to the bike part. That first part took a little bit out of me more than I thought, but oh well, I feel good. As I round the first turn, thank you. I realize parts of me are burning that really shouldn't be at this point. First hill whooped me. I try to keep myself paced. Whew. And once again, I'm faced with the reality that trying to operate the camera and do the exercise, it's slowing me down. Mile three. Three miles into it, I'm starting to feel it. Five more to go. But I still feel good. Uh, 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 my Sharona. In fact, I'm starting to have some fun. Just past the halfway point. I'm more tired than I thought I'd be, but I'm having fun. And doing impersonations. Yay is what? If you didn't know, that's me impersonating Dave Chappelle impersonating Little John. Anything to keep my mind off of what's next. And the biking's in sight. Worst case scenario, about to start. While I guess you could say I'm a runner, it's not much by choice. Good job! Woo! <laughs> this leg is my albatross. I mentioned that I hate running three miles ago. Cheers. I turn to a little five-hour energy for assistance. I'm not a paid spokesman, but hopefully this will help. And I hear there's a keg of beer and some donuts at the end, because that's what they tell me. Psych. At the halfway point, it doesn't hurt to ask. Where's the beer and the donuts? Yeah. <laughs> okay, water will do. I'm feeling so good at this point, I'm beginning to think it might be the wardrobe. I like pointing out my jogging uh, uniform, the Channel 2 hat, and the Ramones t-shirt. Yeah, it's got to be the wardrobe. Good stuff. Are you having fun? Or the impersonations. What? Yes! What? 
<laughs> At this point, I'm having so much fun, I even just start messing with bizarre camera angles to shoot with. That's probably a bit too avant-garde. Back to something more mainstream. Ain't nothing but a G-thing, baby. Death Row is a label that pays me. <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm starting to think I'm getting close. But then I realize I've gotten into the stadium and still have to run a lap. But I got my cheer squad. Whew. And some Channel 2 viewers that keep me going. <laughs> the courage of Robin's brother has made me realize that something like this is the least I can do. <laughs> and while we're only on this small watery planet for a short period of time, it's our obligation to drink up every ounce of life that we can before we're gone. Nice job, Olivia. So if you've been thinking about doing something like this, my question to you is, why not try? I'd like to thank the Academy. Come on, everybody, just let yourself go.